Hai sob, Fari di sini dan sobat di sana. Meski jarak kita jauh, tapi kita masih bisa saling berbagi ya. Guys, in previous video, I talk about something incredible. Orchid species from Indonesia with fragrance flowers. Selojeni penjurata. But this video, in this video, I have something unique, distinctive species from Indonesia. With fragrance flowers, may you guess what is that? Are you curious? Please make sure that you watch my whole video. Guys, do you know that Bulbophyllum is one of the largest genera of the orchid family? There are about 3,000 species of Bulbophyllum genera. It has widespread distribution, mostly in the tropical, but some of Bulbophyllum found in temperate zone. It is found in America. Africa, Southeast Asia, Papua New Guinea, Eastern Australia, and the Pacific Islands. <laughs> okay guys, this is it. Distinctive species, so unique species, Bulbophyllum sumatranum or Bulbophyllum lobi. So but FO, as you know, most of Bulbophyllum genera has bad smell flowers. But this Bulbophyllum lobby or Bulbophyllum sumatranum is one of the specials of Bulbophyllum genus because this Bulbophyllum has a good smell and so fragrance. So let's talk about Bulbophyllum sumatranum or Bulbophyllum lobby. Bulbophyllum lobby or Bulbophyllum sumatranum. This well-known species occurs in Thailand the Malay Peninsula, and the islands of Sumatra, Java, and Borneo. It grows as an epiphyte at elevations between 3,000 and 300 and 6,000 feet, or 1,000 and 1,000 and 800 meters. So, but FO, may you concern the Bulbophyllum altitudes because most of Bulbophyllums grow in high altitude about up to 1000 meters but don't worry as long as i do my bulbo film lobby growing well and blooming so many so plenty in my country i live in moderate altitude so bulbo film can adapt it in moderate altitude but you have to notice that bulbo film need moist condition so you have to watering every day so you have to watering or give it waters every day especially during dry season how for rain sessions you can put your bulbo film over the rains because the rains can help to moist your bulbo film as you can see this bulbo film growing so well and blooming in my area its pseudobulbs are spaced up to 3 quarter inch or 8 cm apart and are about 2 inch or 5 cm tall with seeds that split into persistent yellowish fibers. The leathery leaves are up to 10 inch or 25 cm long. It has large fragrance and distinctive flowers that are up to 3 inch or 7.5 cm in diameter. They arise from a scape up to 4 inch or 10 cm long. It is easily cultivated in shallow pot or basket in warm intermediate conditions. Flowering is during late spring or summer. How about watering? Bulbophyllum requires moist area, moist conditions. So watering every day is best as long as I do. And how to know that your bulbophyllum is dehydrate or your bulbophyllum thirsty or need some water the normal bulbophyllum saw the bulbs when it has well drained it. its saw the bulbs should be 
so thick. When your bulb of film saw the bulb is so thick and the color is so bright, it's your bulb of film has good watering or good drainage. But when your bulb of film needs some water or thirsty, you can see it's saw the bulb, so wrinkles and the color is isn't bright like this one. This is need some water or thirsty. Your bulb of film need uh, watering. May my video can help you to care how to care your bulb of film. Okay, so but fo. Thank you for watching my video. If you have some questions, critic or suggest, please comment below because your comment is so worth for me.